Are you going to come and get dressed so we can garden then? National Naked Gardening Day today. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting my clothes off. If it's good for me, it's good for you. Well, we're just preparing to go for a cruise for a few days. Oh, you don't know where we are, do you? <laughs> This doesn't look like a canal side moor, a canal side or towpath mooring, does it? No, this is definitely canal side. We've uh, only gone and got ourselves a mooring here in sunny Yorkshire. It's a beautiful day. It's, we've been deliberating for so long, as you know, um, and it got to the stage where I just kept talking to people that were walking past the boat and knocking on doors. And we were in the right place at the right time a couple of weeks ago. And within three or four days, we'd found this little mooring. <laughs> and it's superb. It's right on the edge of a farm. Uh, it's as long as the boat is, obviously, and about 15 feet wide. So it's given us plenty of scope to get our hands dirty in the ground and grow some stuff. We're just renting this, hopefully, for a long time. Yeah, we've just, we've just paid for three months up front just to see if we like it people who are living here also and there's not many of them living here they're great aren't they we're somebody's, getting on well with them somebody's already. been here for 20 years so yeah. it can't be bad can it <laughs> and uh, we spotted a few viewers as well walking past so they said hello and, and waved but um yeah we're really chuffed and you know the old saying the sun don't shine on a sleeping dog's ass well we haven't <laughs> been standing idle doing nothing we've actually started doing bits and bobs to uh renovate this little mooring that we've got but the plan is to during the summer hopefully we're going to get some bits and pieces growing we'll show you what we're doing and you can follow that because we will video some of that as it goes on but we are as like we are today we as like we are as we are today we're going off for i don't know four or five days maybe because yeah. there's still lots of bits of canal lots of towns we've not ex explored we're in an area where there's such good communications by bus and by train to visit so much. And then come winter, when the growing season slows down, we'll do longer yeah. cruises. We've already started looking at the winter cruises for next year, haven't <laughs> yeah. we? So, or for this winter. So we've got the best of both worlds now, haven't we? We have indeed. We're determined not to let go of the cruising habit. We still want to be doing that, but it often is the case when people find a mooring it's too much hard work to get off and go cruising but uh, we're definitely determined not to do that we've still got the exploring blood in our in our yeah, veins haven't yeah. we and we still know there's bits of canals that a we want to go back to or see in a different season or just bits that we've never been to before so and the scenery around here is superb it's just absolutely beautiful so we've got lots to walk to lots of villages to go and see and as usual we'll be still exploring our environs so, do you fancy a quick walk around the uh, estate? Estate. <laughs> the grounds. The grounds. <laughs> well, I think the first thing we have to do is get rid of this deck here. It's uh, made up of pallets and they're rotten and it's uh, dangerous to walk on. So we'll have that up in no time. And the substructure underneath, I think, is pretty sound. So I think all we've got to do is lay some new boards on the top of it. Well, my next job is to take these planks that I've had cut up at the sawmill to the right size and make a couple of planters that's going to go either end of our little bit of deck in there. And it's going to have a frame for growing up sweet peas, etc. So let's get going. We have access to water, which we share with our neighbour, but they have put a a spur for us at the front of the boat which is where the water tank is so that would be ideal but we've got to put a tap on it and secure the pipe to the post a bit better than it is and uh, I think that'd be more convenient for us. There's also a power outlet which at the moment we're not using and we hope not to use it because we were going to rely on our solar panels which we have done for the last couple of years without any trouble at all and uh, as usual if we need to uh, run the engine when there's no power we'll move the boat there's a winding hole ahead of us and one not far behind us so we could just take a little journey out and uh, heat the water and charge the batteries. Access to the back deck, these boards are pretty solid at the moment. There's some wear and tear and the bits of the edges are rotting away but it seems quite stable but I guess it will need replacing in the near future. 
When we discovered we got frogs and toads in the garden, we placed a few stones leading into the edge of the canal there so they can get in and out of the water easily enough. And as you can see, there are loads of tadpoles already. So we're really excited to have frogs and toads eating all the slugs in the garden. Natural deterrent, that's what we like. As you can see at the front of the boat, we've got to extend this uh, decking area. We have to climb onto the gunnel to get to the front bow, which isn't a problem at the moment, but in the winter when it's icy and uh, wet, we would rather not have to do that. So I'm gonna extend it to the right so we can just walk along and uh, step into the boat safely. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we started filming the tour of the plot. Uh, we've been so busy in the garden, they haven't had time to edit this uh, video. So uh, we, we have been a bit cruising late. too, haven't we? And we have, we have been, been yeah. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous day, the sun's shining in between rain showers. So fancy having a look at what we've done. So what's going on, Rich? Oh, there's all these half paving slabs uh, dotted around underneath the grass. So I've dug them all up. They're all different shapes and sizes. So we've put them down here randomly with gaps in between that we can put some low growing, creeping plants like thyme, etc. But uh, yeah, it's, I'm really enjoying it. And it used to look like that behind us. If you can just put the camera on it, Fran. And so that side's gonna be done as well. And this is just extending our decking area, isn't it? So that yeah. if we get family and guests around, they can come and sit with us. We yeah, can put the fire pit on here. Um, and we're going to put some big pots of plants and stuff, aren't we, on there? Yeah. Um, herbs. And we don't know. We change our mind from minute to minute. But, yeah, yeah we were supposed to be cruising today. <laughs> but the sun came out and that was that really, wasn't it? As you can see, Rich hasn't wasted any time getting the garden growing and making raised beds for us to plant into. The ground isn't ideal here. We're on a slope with a cow field above. Um, lots of grass and weed here and we think in the past it's been used for coal deliveries for the local estate. So we felt the best thing to do was make raised beds to increase the depth of soil. Um, first two, we scraped we. Rich took the grass off the top, which was hard work, made the raised beds, and then we filled them with bags and bags of farmyard manure and compost and topsoil. And this is the next one because we've already run out of space. Um, and with this one, we've covered the ground with plastic first, just to keep the grass down until we were ready to build the bed. We'll build the bed, we'll put the cardboard down first and soak it and hopefully that keeps the grass down um, and also rots down to make more compost and then we'll just fill the bed the same with manure. We've got stables on the farm and so we might be able to get some well rotted horse manure but we've got to go in, we're told it's about five feet deep so that's a rich job I think yeah, to go yeah. in there. But we've got so much growing already. Um, I'll show you what we've got coming up. So what have we got growing? We've put a few wildflower plants around the edges that we had spare. We have got some peas here, which we're just going to use for pea shoots in salad, so they're quite close. This is Swiss chard, which will grow and make leaves to use as spinach through the winter. These leeks only went in yesterday, so they're a little bit flopped over, but they're perking up already. And I love leeks. A space for, I don't know what, we've got so many seeds coming up. And this is our main crop of peas. Um, they're a bit thick at the moment, but again, we'll probably pick some of these off and eat them as shoots. And love having the pea sticks in place. It just looks so nice and it just makes it look like a proper garden. And we've got, um, again, some more wildflowers. These are sugar snap peas where you eat the whole pod, which is really good value if you've only got small space because you're not wasting anything. You're eating everything on these. Um, some more carrots, I think, in here. These are brilliant and I've done this before. This is just the ends of spring onions. And if you cut the end off of a spring onion before you eat it and stick the root bit in the ground, these have been in about a week and they're already growing for spring onions for salads. Um, little round carrots, because the ground is not very deep, we've just grown little round ball carrots because they haven't got to go down very far. Beetroots, turnips, more turnips, 
with a row of radishes I think I've just gone in between. Um, rocket for salads. These are some lettuce leaves, although we have got salad leaves growing in pots, but this is a romaine lettuce, more of a hearty lettuce and lots of radishes. And these just coming up, we were beginning to lose hope, but we just got our broad beans. It's a bit late in the season, but we'll give it a go, who knows? So when we've done all that hard work and all that digging and cutting off of grass, we just need somewhere to sit and relax in the evening with a cup of tea or a glass of wine. And this is perfect. We're really happy with it. Rich has replaced the rotten decking that was here on the pallet boards with these decking boards. And it's solid, isn't it? It's yeah, just it's the right size. Right. And the patio, I love what you've done with the patio. Well, these are just pavers I've dug up during getting rid of these uh, getting rid of the grass underneath what was underneath the planters over there and i'll just put them down in a random pattern and uh, it'd be great it just extends this decking area a little bit you know so, and we're um, going to keep it quite soft we've left some yeah. gaps we're going to try and get some creeping mint and some creeping thyme and i've actually found some herb robert which is just a wild flower that grows in cracks just to soften the edges a little bit and these planters are just going to be another well, mixture of flowers and vegetables, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Um, we've got sweet peas growing up just to give us a little bit of privacy and a little bit of shelter and some fuchsia flowers. But we've also got long rooted carrots and some French beans, French beans in yeah, there. Yeah. And French I think there's room for something else as well to go. We've still got runner beans to put in and kale yeah. and spring broccoli and we're just going to keep squashing it in. And good thing about raised beds and planters is that you can plant quite close, can't you? you can indeed, yeah. So keep them well fed. It's a little bit of trial and error. Well, it's getting really hot. My camera keeps telling me it's too hot to record. So that's it for this little show around our plot. And uh, there's another video coming up soon of our recent uh, little cruise we did. And uh, that's about it, really. I think we'll just get the lemonade out and sit down. Yeah, and next time you see us, we'll try and be sitting out here with a glass of wine in our hands. With, a bit, with some shade. With a <laughs> yeah, bit of luck. that's the next job. Paracel, our sunshade we need, but all in time. But by the time you get this, Crick Boat Show will be almost upon us. So please, if you're coming, we're on the Haven Knox Johnson insurance stand. Come and say hello. Ask us any questions you like and uh, we'll just come and say hello. We'll be yeah. pleased to see you, yeah. our friends and new. We'll see you there or we'll see you on the next video. Ta-ra. Bye.